From the 1st of April 2016, Dorset and Wiltshire Fire and Rescue Services combined as one service. By doing this, we believe we could do more, putting our communities across both counties at the heart of the work we do. We are passionate about saving and changing lives, and this vision is reflected in our four new priorities. They are to help you to make safer and healthier choices, to protect you and the environment from harm, to be there when you need us, and of course, to make every penny of your money count. So I believe the combination is a good thing. It's a good thing for the two services to give us financial sustainability, but I think it's a good thing for our communities because I believe we will certainly make our community safer and by working with our partners, we provide a stronger response to emergencies. For over 10 years, the Fire and Rescue Service has been helping people in their homes to reduce the risk from fire. But now we also work closely with our colleagues in the health service to identify a much wider range of risks in people's homes. Last year, we made 14,350 home safety checks in Dorset and Wiltshire, and we will continue and further improve this work. When we are invited into people's homes, we can be alert to other health risks. We can identify those who are finding it difficult to heat their homes adequately, for example. We can then alert other agencies who will help people make safer and healthier choices. Increasingly, we're working with our health partners and giving them basic advice on health and well-being. And that could be, for example, a simple referral to a health worker or a social worker. It could be that we provide a joined-up solution to assistive technology, such as telecare. But all the time, we're using the branding, the reputation of the Fire and Rescue Service, not just to improve their fire safety, but their general health and well-being as well. We know that the Fire and Rescue Service can make this work. There have already been very successful pilots in Staffordshire, Greater Manchester and Cheshire. We now want Dorset and Wiltshire to benefit from this approach. We want to continue to educate more young people by broadening our reach through schools programmes across Dorset and Wiltshire. Fire Setters, Prince's Trust, Healthwise, Safe Drive, Stay Alive, Firefit and Spark are some of our youth intervention projects. These schemes help to protect young people from harm and hopefully make them aware of a range of choices and consequence associated with the stages of their life journey. We run, for example, things called Salamander and Spark courses that are one-week courses where young people will undertake activity on a fire station, working with real equipment, but increasingly learning about themselves, learning about their self-awareness, their communication skills, their leadership, and generally gain confidence and competence in their own ability. And I know from the individuals I've seen over the last 15 years who go through these programs, it becomes life-changing and for many of them, life-saving. The second priority is to protect you and the environment from harm. Dorset and Wiltshire Fire and Rescue Service are already highly trained to help communities affected by a range of local and major incidents, increasingly including the preparation, response and recovery from wide-scale flooding. We plan to provide more support to councils and other organisations to develop local emergency resilience plans so that we are better prepared when major disruption of any sort happens in our counties. We've only got to look at the television whenever there's major flooding and disruption and the Fire and Rescue Service will be first on the scene. So yes, we're fully equipped and ready to deal with these local emergencies and local incidents. But increasingly of our partners, we'll also work with local communities to help them put in place local reduction plans. We'll do local warden training. We'll talk to them about where and how they can store sandbags and other flood protection devices. At all times, we will continue to support local businesses to help them meet their fire safety obligations. This will mean buildings are safer for people to visit, live and work in. It all adds to the local economy. Across our area in Bournemouth, Dorset, Poole, Swindon and Wiltshire, we have some fantastic heritage, environmental features and history that we are very proud of and passionate to protect. So particularly for our buildings, we will visit all our heritage buildings. We will provide a risk map. We will make sure our crews are familiar with the layout of buildings and water supplies. 
and where necessary we also undertake exercises at these buildings. We'll liaise with the homeowners, and that may be a specific individual, it may be the National Trust, about a fire plan so that when we arrive what action they can take and what action they would like us to take, either in terms of firefighting or salvage. So our third priority is to be there when you need us. To do this, we need competent, safe crews that deliver a highly professional service across Dorset and Wiltshire. By combining, we are trying to protect frontline services when all services across the UK are facing cuts. We constantly review what we do to make sure we provide a balanced, efficient and effective response. We are working with our colleagues in Hampshire, Devon and Somerset as well to make sure we respond to calls as quickly as possible, even if it's across county borders. In some areas, we are already collaborating with the ambulance service to provide a highly successful co-responders team. We want to improve how we work together to respond to these medical emergencies. Our fourth priority is making every penny count. The fire and rescue services in Dorset and Wiltshire, like all public services, are facing austerity measures. Our current budgets are funded by government grants and by a small amount of what we call fire precept, which we collect with the council tax. Between 2010 and 2014, there was a 25% reduction in grant and between 2015 and 2020, there's going to be a further 30% cut. So we were very keen, Wiltshire and Dorset, to work together, to combine, to protect our frontline services to get those economies of scale with our corporate functions and to be a bigger organisation, to allow us to be safer, stronger and more sustainable. And we're achieving that. We're on track to find all our necessary savings over the next four years, which will mean finding annually something like another six or seven million, 25 million over the next four to five years we will find. But at the same time, using the expertise and good practice in Wiltshire and in Dorset, we're also keen to strengthen many of our services. We really believe that by combining, Dorset and Wiltshire Fire and Rescue Service can make a significant difference to the safety, health and well-being of everyone living in our counties. If you want more information about the service, please look at our website.